Uh, I started collecting my poems and carrying them around my high school in a clipboard. And then uh, my mother passed away in March of 1957 when I was a senior. And she died suddenly. And uh, that was the worst thing that had happened to me. And I've, it nudged me toward poetry. And my mother had just told me that a gentleman knows Greek and Latin. So in her honor, when I, I went for a year to University of Missouri at Columbia in, in the fall of 57 through the spring of 58, then is when I hitchhiked, uh, having uh, bought Hal and Samuel Beckett and the early Evergreen Reviews at the University of Missouri bookstore in Columbia. And I memorized all of Hal just about, and I used to shriek it uh, to my high school buddies when I returned back to Blue Springs, the town where I was ra born, raised, uh, to, to go around the county courthouse drinking uh, Greasy Dick Brothers beer, and uh, I would be howling and chanting how. Anyway, I uh, t took leave of University of Missouri and went to New York University in the summer and fall of 58 and in honor of my mother who said a gentleman knows Greek and Latin I took a course in uh, Greek uh, even though I was uh, I had in mind you know I had uh, my, uh, my older brother was a uh, engineer and my grandfather was an engineer civil engineer so I had in mind of being an engineer or I don't know the mercury program was kicking abroad then so I thought I might become an, you know involved in the mercury program but then <coughs> I took Greek and I met my current wife future wife Miriam she also uh, took the same course and at NYU that fall of 58 and uh, then then it was uh, the Beats, uh, the coffee houses opened up on McDougal Street at that time, 59, 60. It was before the folk, before Peter, Paul, and Mary. It was before Bill Cosby. It was before Wavy Gravy. It was before Phil Oaks. It was just beat poetry would be show, sung and, and it would be chanted at these coffee houses on McDougal Street, um, the Gaslight, main one of them. Anyway, we used to go to these beatnik poetry readings, my future wife and I, and I had no idea that I would become really good friends with Allen Ginsberg or be on the William Buckley show with Jack Kerouac or get to know Gregory Corso or these other guys that I worshipped at the time from afar as a callow, shy, unself-confident young man from the Midwest going to these uh, beat readings. So that's, in short, how I got to my hitchhiking in the summer of 58 uh, to New York City.